To install a blade in the Logan 201 oval and circle cutter, first remove the cutting head from the scale bar, locate the blade holding knob, and loosen it two or three turns. Insert one Logan number 324 blade down into the blade holder from the top and use your thumb to wiggle the top of the blade so the blade seats properly at the bottom. So simply retighten the blade knob. Put the cutting head back on the scale bar and the blade is installed. To set the size of an oval, for this case an 8x10, first slide the cutting head to the 8 inch mark on the scale. To set the differential setting, loosen the post knob on the top of the chrome post and slide the plate inside the base to 2 inches for a difference of 2 inches on your oval. In this case, the difference between 8 and 10 is 2. Take a pre-marked piece of mat board color side up with a piece of backing board underneath. This can be done easily with a T-square or similar device. Use the marks on the outside edge of the oval base to perfectly align the center of the oval onto the mat board. Use your palms to press down. The sharp pins on the underside of the base sink into the mat board and help hold the base still. To begin the cutting process, press your left hand on the base and with your right hand on the scale arm, rotate the cutting head from a 1 o'clock position down to approximately 5 o'clock position, spin the mat board underneath, and continue. On the first step, the blade doesn't actually cut into the mat board. You're simply lining up the wheel. After one full revolution, click the blade lever one step. Make another full revolution, and this allows the blade to score the surface of the mat board. After completing a full circle, click the lever to the second step, which allows the blade to cut halfway through the mat board. On the third step, the blade is now cutting all the way through the mat board and scoring into your backing sheet underneath. At this point, you can remove the oval cutter, set it aside, the window should drop out, and you have a perfectly beveled 8x10 oval mat. To cut a circle, loosen the knob on the top of the post and slide the post to the dead center of the base of the oval cutter. Again, use a backing sheet and a pre-marked piece of mat board. Align the marks on the base with the crosshairs on the mat board. and press the base in to insert the pins. Following the same steps as before, roll the cutting head around the mat board once to align the wheel, and use your fingertip to click the blade lever to the first step. Make a full revolution with the blade scoring the mat board, click it to the second step, the blade now cuts halfway through the mat board, and on the third step, we cut all the way through the mat board and score the backing sheet. Set the oval cutter aside, window will drop out and you have a perfectly bevel cut circle.